Hi guys, how are you? This is Lois. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, today I don't even want to talk about immigration, uh, but I want to talk a little bit about life in Canada here. And I want, I'm not gonna waste time, I want to show you my first ever bear encounter in Canada. Yeah, you heard that right. Bear. B E A R. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you some background information because I know maybe you're asking like why why is this so important? Uh, why is she so thrilled? Because I'm telling you I am really truly thrilled and I'll tell you why. Some background information. I came to Canada in 2011 so I've lived here now close to 11 years. Okay, I'll be 11 years soon. Can you believe me? It took this many years for me to come uh, in a very close encounter with a bear. Canada is known for bears, okay? Grizzlies and black bears and polar bears, okay? Previously, I have seen a polar bear, but guess what? I saw a polar bear at the Winnipeg Zoo. I've always died to see a grizzly or a black bear. And you know, I live in Calgary. That's why it's also very important. I live in Calgary and the mountains are in my backyard. Like, you know, the Rockies are barely one hour away. We don't need to plan to go to the Rockies. We just want, we want to wake up or just have to wake up any day and say, guys, uh, can we go hiking or can we go check out this lake? Because Alberta has so many lakes in those Rockies. Okay. Every time my friends go out, they're always coming. Oh, you know what, Lois? Oh my God, they're showing me their pictures. Look, we saw this bear, this grizzly in the parking lot. It had calves. And I'm like, come on, guys. How unlucky can I be to be in this country and never see a bear? I was feeling like as much as I've become a Canadian citizen and I've lived here for 11 years, baby, I wasn't feeling Canadian enough if I haven't seen a bear. Now, finally, I got my encounter with a bear and it's not just any encounter. You know, whenever we go hiking, I, I usually think that um, because of the woods, I usually think that uh, we're going to be walking the trails and I'm going to have a sighting of a bear, you know, like I may just see the back of a bear or the eyes and I will scream and yell and most likely get my family killed because <laughs> these people say you should be very careful. If you come across a bear, you should not be yelling and running and screaming. But believe me, the way I know me, God knows me. I will be yelling and screaming and peeing my pants. <laughs> okay? And so we've been risking. We've been going here like, oh, you know what? The trails are full of a lot of people. So we've been going up those trails. And we've never had to carry bear spray. Because they say when you come uh, into a close encounter with a bear, you should both live amicably. Because it can be very dangerous. One of you could end up dead and most likely it's you. In my case, it will be me first because I'm the most overweight person in my family. So everybody would outrun me anyway, right? But I've been risking with them and we've never carried a uh, bear spray. We are like, oh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to yell. There are going to be people with, bug, with bear spray. And so, yeah, we've hiked. We have explored. And never have I ever seen a bear with these bear two eyes of mine. Then guess what, guys? Go up the mountains. I had this nagging thing at the back of my mind. And I told my husband, we're not leaving without bear spray. I don't feel like I want to go hiking again without bear spray. What if we come across a bear? And I was like, I just have this piece of me that is telling me, Lois, don't go. Don't go without bear spray. Don't go without bear spray, girl. You've been risking. You don't have to risk again. Okay? So, yes, we went to the shop and we got bear spray. Yay! Bear. <laughs> we got bear spray. I watched a whole video on YouTube on how... <laughs> Oh no, to unleash this in case I come across a bear. And I'm just telling you, I don't even know how I would do it because as I told you, I'll be screaming and yelling and crying, all of them. Yeah. 
so yeah we got this thing and we went and believe me we went we hiked and we didn't see a bear and i was like oh see guys but i'm still glad we carried the bear spray and i'm just telling you five minutes driving from the parking lot like this we come across traffic on the highway and i'm like that's a lot of traffic okay that's a lot of traffic and i was at that moment i said there must be something these guys are seeing on the road and at that point i started praying and i was like god may it be a bear and i just want to see a glimpse of it a tiny bit of it so that i can be telling people i actually saw a bear i was ready with my camera just to snap a little bit of whatever is visible and boy we got there and we parked and this bear came and I, that, I didn't just get to see a glimpse. This bear, he or she was ready for me. Yeah, that bear came for me. It came to give me a show like no other. And I want to invite you on this show so that you can see how this bear performed for me and by extension for you. Yes, I guess I can confidently say this played the trick. For the first time, I took my bear spray, a bear showed up, but the irony is I didn't even have to discharge it because I watched the whole show from the comfort of my car and the bear didn't disappoint. I guess now finally, after this many years, I am truly Canadian. I have come across a bear. I first bear encounter in Canada. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're wondering how can you come to Canada as a student, as a visitor, immigrate here just so that you can have your own one-on-one -on -one encounter with a bear, please reach out to me by email uh, or just go onto my website. I'll put the link of where you can book that consultation with me.